Hi everyone, welcome to these Cabbies Dolls and Toys. I have another request video for you guys. One of our viewers asked me if I could do a video on the fur skins. I'm so excited, I love the fur skins. As you can see, I have quite a few here. For those of you who don't know, the fur skins were created by Xavier Roberts, the same guy who created the Cabbage Patch Kids. So this is gonna be a really fun video and you guys don't wanna miss it. We all know as collectors of Cabbage Patch Kids that Xavier Roberts, he, he designed some amazing dolls and toys. We all know that. But I think what makes his creations really stand out is the storylines that went along with it. Everything that he created has a story. The Cabbage Patch Kids have a story, the Kusas have a story, and the Furskins have a story too. So before I start showing you everybody, I just want to read um, what's on the back of this box because it's kind of an intro introduction to the Furskins and it kind of tells you what they're all about. It says, meet the Furskins, the cutest country critters you've ever did see. Each one has a removable outfit, including a hat and hiking boots. There's Dudley Furskin, Patty, Boone, and Farrell, Orville T, Jedgar, Miss Fanny Faye, and Selma Jean, the Possum Queen. All eight of these softly flocked and fully posable Furskins bears are ready for playing, collecting, or just plain having fun. So this, from what I read, this is the first um, size of Furskin that were ever released. And these are, I believe, five inches, um, and they look like they're posable. I have him in the box. I've had him for a while, and I've never taken him out of the box. Um, but I do have some other little posable ones that I'm going to show you later. I think I'm going to start off with showing you the little ones and the play sets, and then we'll get into the big bears. From everything that I read tells me that the first first skins, that's a tongue twister, the first first skins, the first fur skins that were released came in little boxes like this. There were five inch posable figures. This guy here is Orville T. He is the pilot of the fur skins. So cute. He's one of my favorite fur skins. He's really awesome. He's the only fur skin out of everything in my collection. He's the only one that's still in the box. You can see if you look over here at the general store, there's some more of the posable figures. I've got Baby Thistle over here. Um, Hattie's in there somewhere. I don't know everybody yet, and I don't believe that I have everybody. I have quite a few in my collection, but I don't, I don't have everything. This is the general store. One of the, my favorite first skin pieces in my collection is this right here. I think it's so adorable. They paid so much attention to detail you know you guys got to remember these this stuff is old this came out in I want to say 1984 around 1983 1984 was when this stuff started getting released and they did a really good job I mean this is so cute the log fence and and the mailbox the little uh, garden stones that go up to the door and then if you look inside of the general store the moody hollow general store that's what this is called you'll see some more of the little first skin figurines and this is adorable this is one of my favorite things about this whole piece is the patchwork rug right there and then of course we've got the ladder the baby thistles and the hammock up here this is adorable too you guys got to see this on the other side up here it says moody ha hollow general store three zero five two eight and a half that's adorable this i believe this is hattie on the swing and over here there's some pies cooling in the window it's it's just so cute and so country i think this is called like a soapbox or something cart and i believe this is dudley his name is dudley another thing that i want to show you is this adorable train this is the moody hollow express the figurines that came with this set right here are, um, I want to say these are probably about two and a half inches maybe. 
The only one that didn't come with the set is this guy right here, and I don't know where I picked him up, but somewhere along the way he went into my collection. This is so cute. I love this stuff. You guys that know me know how much I love play sets and doll houses, and this stuff is just so, so adorable. I have another video that I did, I want to say about a year ago, and um, it was me unboxing all this stuff, so if you guys want to check that out, look for it in my library. Okay, I'm going to introduce you to my 22-inch beers. Yay! So cute. Look at how cute these guys are. Okay, I got something funny to share with you. So this guy right here, this is Dudley, and this guy is also Dudley. Are you confused? Me too. <laughs> Because I don't understand that, but everything that I read is telling me that these are both Dudley. So the only thing I can think of is that there were different variations um, of the bears with the clothing and stuff. But, and you're going to see in a few minutes, I this happened again. <laughs> another character. But these guys are both Dudley. And apparently, Dudleys are um, the bears that have overalls on. And another thing that's interesting is that... He has a hat, and this Dudley doesn't have a hat. And this Dudley has shoes, and this Dudley doesn't have shoes. But I found, um, I found Bandana, we'll call him Bandana Dudley. I found Bandana Dudley in a thrift store about three years ago. So he may not have shoes, he may have had shoes, and, and somewhere along the line he lost his shoes. But what I love about him not having shoes is this right here. You can see Xavier Roberts' little birthmark on his paw, and I think that is so cute. My other first games all have boots on, so you can't, they all have this on their paws, but you can't see it because they have their boots on. Aren't these guys great though? Look at his bandana, you guys. He's <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Look at their little tail. Let's see the back of their, of their jeans. Look at the pockets and everything. Don't they? Look at how country they look. Aren't they adorable? They're so cute. Okay. I can't wait to share the rest of them with you guys. And here we go again. This is Boone and Boone. <laughs> how silly am I that I keep buying the same exact bear? <laughs> this is a different color shirt. <laughs> different color pants. But yeah, so... This is Boone and Boone, and Boone is the beekeeper of the Furskins. Um, what's interesting is they each of the characters have an occupation and a whole story that goes with them, which is really cool. I forgot to tell you guys that Dudley, the two Dudleys, um, are the general store, Moody Hollow general store manager. So that was pretty cool. I forgot to tell you guys that. And um, as you can see, they, but say they look different. They're the same, but they're different. He's not wearing a hat. He doesn't have any shoes. <laughs> so it was a simple mistake. But another thing I want to show you guys, this is really neat. They each come with a little storybook attached to them. And it tells a little bit about the first skin, Moody Hollow, and a little bit about your, your bear. It's pretty neat. They all come with this. Very, very cute. This is Miss Hattie, and she loves hats, and she loves making pies, and um, the story says that she likes to change her hat each time she makes a new pie. So she has different hats, depending on what kind of pie she's baking. So that's pretty interesting. I read that in her little storybook. She has a storybook, too. Look at how cute she is, you guys. Her boots, I love her boots because all the boys have, you know, the regular shoelaces, but her shoelaces are ribbons, pink ribbon. So cute. Another thing that I love about her is her hat, this particular hat. Look at the pretty bow in the back. She's so country. I love her. She's very, very cute. She's one of my favorites. This is Orville T. He, I showed you his mini version earlier. He is the pilot, and look at him. Isn't he amazing? I love his outfit so much. He's got the scarf. Look at how cool. It reminds me of um, Snoopy. Remember Snoopy when he does the fights the Red Baron and all that stuff? And he's wearing one of these scarf, and he's got these, the, what are these called? Aviator glasses? So, so cute. He's 
obviously it's not real leather, but he's wearing leather with a leather jacket and I love his hat. He's just so so cool. I wanna see I wanna see what he looks like without his glasses today. <laughs> he's awesome. I wanna stand him up so you can see. And he's wearing little khaki shorts. I love that he's he's got a hat on and his and his big thick leather jacket, but then he's wearing shorts. <laughs> Okay, so forgive me if I butcher this name, but this is Permison. I think that's how you say it. And um, she's so cute, look at her. She's so tiny. So what's different about Permison is that she's a lot smaller than the other furskins that I just showed you. Caligo made the 22 inch furskins, um, Patty and, and Boone and all those guys. And then they also released smaller skin bears. I don't know exactly how tall she is, but she's definitely a lot shorter than the other one. So I don't know if she's supposed to be like a kid. And what's cute about her is she reminds me a lot of Hattie. This is a little small version of Hattie, like her dress and everything. Very country bumpkin looking. She's so cute. But what I love about her is her boots. Look at her boots. The other boots were, um, all the other bears had on, you know, the regular tan construction work boots. And hers are still the same kind of style, but they're white. And I like that. And I think it was really cute with her outfit, too. She's a, she's a cute little one. I'm going to have to look more into it and find out, you know, what her personality is. If she has a job and all that other stuff. But I like her. I'll keep her in my collection. The fur skins are... They're so fun. Look at how cute they are. They're such a great addition to any doll collection. The everything, the work that went into them is phenomenal. The the storyline behind them, their personalities, their outfits, so so cute. It, they really are a great addition to any collection. If you guys are interested in them, you can find them on eBay, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, and of course thrift stores too. That's always a good place to look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for requesting this video. I had a lot of fun doing this for you and i will see you guys in the next video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye